Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Been working on the lathe again, and uh, my 99 cent connector finally came in from China, so I uh, uh, had to do a little grinding on the plastic part and was able to solder all the wires back into it and was getting ready to test it out to see if it was working. But this digital readout, now that the temperature's gotten warm, it comes on and it runs for a couple of minutes and then it cuts out. And I decided to tear it apart and take a look. And the only thing I can find obvious is these two resistors here look like they've been mighty hot uh, looking at this board. So I'm gonna replace those two and try that. I'm wondering if when they get warmed up if they're going open one of them or something. Other than that, these caps and everything look okay. I don't see any loose connections in the board. So, I'll sweat those out and put them back in and see what happens. Well, I got two new resistors stuck on there. Probably larger than what they need, but hey, the other's burned up, so what can it hurt, right? Uh, they fit, and the wire size was right, and I got them soldered in, so I'm going to plug this thing back up and see if it works. Well, sadly, I've already tried this out, and I know it didn't fix it, So, but uh, I did get the DRO part fixed. My plug repair appears to work, so let's see what this thing does. And there it is, working like it's supposed to. But it'll only do it for a couple minutes and then it's gonna die. The x-axis. It's the main carriage. Move it a thousandths at a time if you want to. This other axis I don't have hooked to the thing, I can just move it by hand. Because it's bent and I need to straighten it. But it does count okay. So, be a good reason for me to fix those rollers so I can do an easier job of straightening this out. Well, I'm glad to see it counting on both axes. We'll see how long before it kicks out. <laughs> Pretty much as soon as it warms up, usually. There it went. So you can see I didn't turn it off, it turned itself off, but that's pretty much just like what it does, is it goes off. So I guess I have to check the power supply in it first and see if it's losing power to the motherboard or if the problem's on the motherboard. It's kind of like it goes into sleep mode. Can't wake it up. It does nothing. So that's something else for me to try and figure out. I'll have to get tore into that sometime when I got more time to fool with it. Right now, my main focus is getting everything operational on the lathe to where I can use it because I can get by without a digital readout if I have to. And if I just 
use it intermittently, occasionally turn it on, uh, get my reading, and turn it back off, it'll work. I'll sort of come back on here now if it's cooled enough, but. No, doesn't look like it's gonna come back on. But once it does cool down, maybe five minutes or something, it can usually flip it and it will come back on. So it's definitely something intermittent in it and I think it's heat related. So as soon as it heats up, one of the components is giving up and it's cutting itself off. It's kind of one of the things that worries me about my CNC, my old mechanical machine, so I don't have to worry about the unreliable electronics, which is what electronics are. Uh, giving up the mechanical stuff pretty well just works unless you crash it or break it so the electronic stuff it just gives up on its own seems like you don't really have to course it into any reason to give up it just gives up so if you've got any ideas on how to fix this if somebody's run into this problem before and knows where to look I'd appreciate you letting me know otherwise thanks for watching thanks for subscribing I'll catch you later well, I gotta give y'all an update on this as I shot the video and was doing the editing on it. Since then, I've had this monitor powered up. It's been a week now that it's been on and it hasn't gone off, at least not that I know of or lost count. Every time I come down here and look, it's still showing, operating, and it's counting. And both axes. So I don't know if it's a switch or it just needed to charge up or had something to do with the internal battery, maybe where it's been off for a long period of time or whatever, fixing those resistors, maybe fix that, but uh, shortly after I shot that last video, the next time I came down and turned this on, uh, it worked fine since then. And it had been plugged up that whole time, so uh, maybe something did charge up in it that was down and let it go to working like it's supposed to, but so far so good. Uh, so I have to see what it does when I get it plugged back into the machine, go to powering off the transformer on the machine instead of off extension cord like it's been plugged up here now. I could leave it on the extension cord, but I'd rather have it on the machine so I don't have a cord running across the floor. Don't have to add additional wiring over to the wall just to feed the digital readout. But it looks like it's gonna work, so that's a win. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later.